Hello again, now we will look at the major project. We are going to do a real-time glass detection. The requirements are Python 3.6, NumPy 1.14, OpenCV 3.4.0, and Delib 19.7.0. For this, we will be using PyCharm. project was created by James Wu, and we adapted it a little. Here it loads delib and cv2 and numpy. Here we have a first function that is landmark to np. Here we are take basically looping over 68 facial landmarks and converting them to xy coordinates. This part we initialize the list and here we loop it over and over and over. Here we get the landmarks part in x and y coordinates then we return the coordinates the next function we get is get center basically it get the i centers it takes as input the data image that is and the landmarks here we define the landmarks with the purple for i left outer i left inner i left right and i right inner the landmarks are initialized and all, and when processing is done, you get the left eye center and the right eye center. Finally, the return value for this one is left eye center and right eye center. This function is aligned face. It takes as input the data, the left and right is basically the left eye center and the right eye center as input. <coughs> Here we have the eye center. We do a processing on it. We get the desired distance and all. Here we construct it to the rotation matrix, the eye center, angle, and scale. And then we update the transition component of the matrix here. And finally, we return the align fix from the section. Here we have the function judge eye gloss basically this is the function that we see if we have the user is wearing a gloss or not first apply a gaussian blur on the image with 1111 which will affect it like we saw before and have a sub y a sub y then it apply a threshold Using threshold binary and Otsu threshold, and does a bit of calculation for to find the region of interest i, and does a bit more calculation to find the region of interest that is that we are looking for. For example, this, and then it displays both region of interest. It is a port if the measure is greater than the judge is true, else it is false. Here, basically, is a predictor of and the detector as we are initializing it. As you can see, the predictors. This port is the video capture we can. I use input data before, which is basically the video that you have provided in lab 10. And we can also use webcam, but since the webcam does not allow me to record at the same time. I have pre-recorded a video using webcam. This one capture the video frames, converts it to gray, and enumerates it. You can see here, then this one calls the landmark function. Then it erase it for x and y in landmarks. We get the, then we Get the get center function, we send the image and landmarks to get the left eye center, right eye center, and then we get we call the align face one, the left eye center, right eye center. Then we, sh uh, we show it the align face. Here is a judge, we're basically we're judging if we're using, we're using grasses or not. Based on this, we send these as. In we put the text if it is true from the function or not. The threshold is 0 0.15, I'll be sure. Uh, here, CV2, that I'm sure result here. We show a result and then we break. Now, let's run it for 
let's, let's run it now for the video that you use. And let's just right press it. Here's the sobel Y, as you can see. And here's the region of interest that is the eyes. Here's another one. Let's minimize it. Basically, here's a video. We're not getting any detection right now because the fees are quite full. Let me rerun this for you to get better. But you can see it from the beginning. As you can see, here's the main one. As you can see, it has a, a big force detection. Not that big, but if the user is turned a bit, it detects it with lower since uh, depending on the eyes, uh, how much the eyes are open or not. But it has fairly, a fairly okay detection. Over the port, Subel Y, Ford is the aligned face. One out of the top, you can get in any direction since the face or a port C here is the no glosses. You can see it align the face when on the server Y. As you get clearly seen. Here it's for a way so the basic detection. So as you can see. Now let me show you the video that I recorded earlier on on myself. Here's the video. As you can see on my face it detects with glosses. As you can see the region of interest, one here and the two of the eye center. Now let me as you can see the glosses detected accurately, but if it loses the region of interest, it makes a false detection. As you can see if the eye center or well aligned the camera, it detects it as well as under the nose. If else it as a false detection, as you can see from this video that I recorded earlier on. I would say this code can be improved much since it's already working on a 0.15 threshold, which is kind of very low and promotes a lot of false detection this can be improved you are training the data a lot by but for the basic project it is kind of good because it's the center of the face is well aligned and it detects the region of interest which is here and here is very good like it gets this and those two eyes it detects it well if the eyes are very centered to the camera and open because as you could see in the video it was not that open the eyes were slightly a bit close when the press closed the eyes it detected it as having glasses since it could not detect the center very accurately this concludes the big project one i will show you the code and all thank you for your attention